Welcome back to Frogger 2 Swampy's Revenge, everybody. We got six levels left to get the speedrun record on before we become Supreme World Champion. <laughs> Anyhow, uh, we're on the laboratory stages today, and we're starting things off with what, in my opinion, is the toughest speedrun record to get on Disco Lab. Uh, some car. Apparently, they didn't have an actual employee get the speedrun record. Apparently, they just had a car play this, and um, it did really well. It got a 1 minute 35 second time, which may seem like a bit of a lot on these really short levels, but Disco Lab is actually pretty tough to get through quickly, mainly due to that Newton's Ball section that we have to go through. So, let's just prep ourselves. It's been a while since we've been my man Wart, so we're gonna be Tad. <laughs> Tad just fits the Disco Lab. Wow, that was very fast. Let's try this again. Oh, we just got in front of the Robo Dog. That's annoying. Okay, cool. But we got this cycle, which is nice. All right. So so far, so good. We still have like a minute, fifteen seconds left. It, the problem is getting through this right here quickly is very, very difficult. And by difficult, I mean it's basically impossible. And dumb stuff like that can happen if you just happen to put an input at the right time, but the game says it was the wrong time. Game really needs to work on its hit, hit detection, because there was literally no ball there, but... It was like, oh, you hit the ball, and therefore you're gonna get sucked down to the bottom of the screen and die. Because it's slower that way. If you die during that section, then you've effectively lost the speed run. Which is always fun. No, that was the wrong part. Not really any faster, but all right, we'll take it. Come on, Tad. I think if you can, if you're crazy good at frame perfect jumps, you can super hop your way through this by going through the gaps. Oh, like that. Yeah, if you, I can't believe I actually did the frame one jump. If I, I'm gonna try to do that because that actually wasn't as hard as I was expecting. I hate how we're always just behind that one robot dog. If that's actually what it is. Brah. No! How would? Darn it, we keep getting fried by that. If we could not, if we could just not get fried by that robot, we'd be able to beat this robot, but nope. It always is a shame when, like, you just barely can't make a specific cycle. And you're like, if I could just make that cycle, it would save, like, a second or two. Which, again, doesn't sound like much, but in speedrunning, especially on speedrunning a short stage like this, that actually does make a big difference. Alright, let's try this part again. Let's see if we actually can double super hop through the Newton Balls. After this one, of course. Alright, so far so good. So far so good. Okay, that's the key. That was weird. I'll take it. I'll take it. I probably, I could get a better time, potentially, if I just didn't die there, but I'm not doing that again. I got the triple-double super hop, so, in, uh, frame perfect. So, 51 seconds? Exactly. No, that's, that's destiny. We got 51 seconds exactly, so, that's fantastic. I will happily take that. Under a minute is fantastic on that level. Next, we go to the research facility with the weird monkey guards, and this level is gonna be crazy to try and do really fast, and we're gonna be tank because it just makes sense. We're in a robot factory, so we're gonna play as the robot frog. 
Avoid the vacuum cleaners. No! I was about to be like, where's the music? Oh, stupid monkey! You were just right there. You had to be on that one exact square, didn't you? Alright, let's try this again. What the heck? The monkey is always right where I'm trying to go. What a crud butt. That was a little bit faster than we had done in the past. There we go. That's what I was looking for. No! Stupid freaking monkey! Ah! The, oh, the monkey guards, if you're trying to go fast, are so annoying. Okay, that first room was basically as perfect as you can get, so... Beautiful. Okay, that room was great. That room was great. Because of how en enormous this level is, mistakes are very costly and it's very tough to get this in a good time. No! I didn't want to go that far. Arg. Oh, here we go. Oh! <laughs> I hit the vacuum cleaner and Tank's head fell off. Because as a robot, he can't inflate, which is what would normally happen if you hit the, one of the vacuum cleaners. Actually, that's the same speed as I did last time. <laughs> Now I know how to do the first uh, two floors really quickly, which is great. Ooh, I have an idea. Oh, no. I, I was thinking I could double super hop over to this platform, but uh, there's not enough time for that. Do, 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 do. All right, change of plans. Hop twice that way to distract the monkey and take the elevator down to the hopping security camera room. This is where things get risky. Oh, because we want to hop over the electric fences wherever possible. The problem is the electric fences are active most of the time. Wow, they are really active. Wow, they just never turn off. Crazy. The monkey rooms are fun to do uh, quickly, if you know how to do them quickly. <laughs> the monkeys are like, what? Get out of here! Oh, no. Just missed it. Let's see if this works. That was what I was thinking. I'm like, oh my gosh. I could do a crazy double super hop onto that platform and skip so much, that would be amazing, but I'm not sure if that's going to be possible. Whoa! That was nuts. This is another room where dropping inputs can be very costly. <sighs> Actually, that I think lost me time because I wasn't able to do the super hop off the platform. Oh ho! 
Okay, I, that was amazing. I don't care what anyone says, that was amazing. And I'm taking that to the bank. No, that was not amazing. It didn't super hop. All right. The fourth floor is gonna be the tough part with all the security cameras. Fourth floor is going to be the toughest one. Oh wait, oh my gosh. With that cycle, we can just run across the electric fences in the fourth floor. They're all deactivated. Oh, that's it. Oh man, we're finding the, just the optimum strats. This is amazing. That is my favorite shortcut. It probably doesn't save as much time as it looks because then we have to wait for this next platform. But it looks cool, and that's what really matters. All right, now let's try to hop across all of this. Oh my gosh, that was such a good fourth floor. There we go. That was basically a flawless research laboratory. Or research facility. <laughs> I only got one coin. One minute, 13 seconds on the research facility. That... You can get a better time. I'm sure the task is a better time, but, like, that... I'm very proud of that. That was amazing. Alright, time for the Infernal Machine. And we haven't played as Ruby in a while. Because I don't like Ruby, but here we're doing a lot of kangaroo bounces. So, it's appropriate. I believe this is also the level where you unlock Ruby. In fact, it is, so... I guess it's just fitting. What? Why did I not super hop over that? This is such an interesting level. I do like it a lot. Even though it's very linear. It's... Okay, that's gonna drive me crazy if it's just like, oh, you don't get to super hop over that gap because we, the game thought you were still on the platform behind it. Because you're moving too fast. Darn you. Dana McDonald's. I really should just be less picky about my times. Okay, why did it not- I was on that platform for enough time. I don't know, this is- this is a glitchy game. I like it, but it is a glitchy game. <laughs> This is just stunlocking me. Oh, come off it! That part sucks to do fast. Especially if you fall once, you're gonna fall like 800 times. Oh, 
Let's go. No, I ran into the security camera, even though I avoided it doing the exact same thing last time. I forgot <laughs> if you hop just normally I was just a regular movement but he, because he was above me I hit him anyways No, that's so annoying. You've got the robot dog running after you and the thing above you. Okay, this is almost harder to speedrun than I was anticipating. I was expecting Disco Lab to be the toughest. It was actually the easiest out of the uh, laboratory levels, that is. Let's just wait for you to go. We'll wait for you to go as well. Oh, the platform should have popped out before then. This is also one of those levels where deaths are very costly in terms of time. Because there's a lot of distance between the frogs. What's this machine even doing for Swampy? That's what I'd like to know. There we go. Oh yeah, that's that's the cycle I made first time. Oh no! No, that sends me all the way back to the blue frog. Oh, that's so annoying. Again, I could beat the time if I just didn't keep resetting, but De because deaths are I yeah. for those of you who are wondering, the glitch where I double super hop but it only sends me one square happens when you try double super hopping right as you touch the new square, it might be frame perfect basically you're on the new square but the game still thinks you're on the previous square and so the double super hop will only send you over, over one square Doggone it. No! I hate that platform right there. Oh no, I hate that platform right there too! I'll just... Especially just because if you fall there, you, you gotta wait. I hate that. I hate waiting. Oh, dog. Gone, you doggone it, doggone it, doggone it, doggone it. No, I was off the platform! Ah, I hate the infernal machine. I mean, I like it, but I also hate it. Also, hey, how slow the double super hop is so much of the time. It's not supposed to be this slow, by the way. I don't think I touched his foot. 
I really don't think I touched his foot. Like, I'm pretty sure if the game wasn't lagging, it's supposed to be like, bow, 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 and not like, bow, bow. That, yeah, this game is so strange. It's physics I still don't know entirely. And weird stuff happens, which can be infuriating if you're really trying to gun for really hot, really fast times. Gah! It's always that freaking jump! Also, I know for a fact that the best times that they recorded here were not actual best times they established in-game, because all of them are to the exact second and not to the decisecond, which it just isn't very likely to happen. And by not very likely to happen, I mean that's not possible. Okay. Okay, that was bad. I had to wait so long for that cycle. Really? I didn't double super hop over that. Really? I didn't make it past that. Forget best possible time. I want to get past this. Okay, that guy is always in my way. Always. They're really making me wait in the dead end for him to just move away. What the heck? I was mashing the left key and it dropped every single one of them. Again, this game looks amazing if you go fast and the game actually works properly as it should. If it doesn't, then it looks really goofy. I thought for sure Ruby was dead there, but thank goodness she wasn't. Uh-uh! No, I was not on that square! I wasn't on the square! I am so annoyed by this level. I am so annoyed by this level. This level was not intended to be done quickly. <laughs> Alright, fine. I will wait in this stupid dead end for you to move past. You gotta be kidding me. I don't care. I know I messed up a ton. I don't care. I don't want to do that level anymore. Stupid infernal machine. Yeah. 1 minute 36, barely sub 170, that's, or 177, 37, yeah. Not my best work, but I'm sick of that level. That level would be fun to do speed run on, to do a speed run on if it worked properly, but with all of the dropped inputs and the glitchy double super hops and the glitchy security cameras, man, that's, mm -mm. Not very fun. Anyhow, that's all the time we have for today. Thanks for watching, everyone. Next time we take on the last three levels, the Halloween levels, speedrun style. And hopefully those will be fun. I know at the very least, two out of three of them will be. So, look forward to that next time. Until we meet again, my friends, have a great day and God bless.